Okay, our topic for the day or the our tutorial is about a Synology Dread server and the Synology Drive client, how it works and how to set up. Okay, number one, uh, you can create first a username and the folder in Synology Nash. For example, you have already a username and folder, a folder under the username that you create. So, number two, you download the Synology Drive server. Okay? Once you download and install, it shows here Synology Drive and the Synology Drive admin console also. So, they have two. Just install this Synology Drive server and then this is, uh, this are, uh, these two up appear in the Synology Drive app, okay? So number three, you can go uh, to Synology Drive Admin Console. Click this, go to Team Folder. Example, this is your test folder. This is your folder you create under the, under the username that you create. Yeah. For example, a test user. So this is a test folder, okay? So by default, this is disabled, okay? This disabled by default. So we enable this, okay? Okay, right? Now the folder is already enabled. Let's proceed to the fourth step or the next step. Download the Synology Drive client. Just go to the download center of Synology, then type the product, the model, or any model, you can see that Synology Drive client, okay, just download. So I already downloaded the Synology, Synology Drive client, so let's install it. Let's go to the next step, so install. Okay, next, next, agree. Let's wait. Then click finish. Let's. So now this is the Synology Drive client. So just click start. Start now. So here, in Synology NAS, you can put a local IP of your NAS the domain name or the quick ID. So I use the quick ID, for example. And then the username. So what's the username I create? This user. What's the password? So I'm going to tell you the password. <laughs> so. Okay. Then click next. So this setup is based on what you are need. For example, you set up in a local alien network only. So just type the local IP. So here, since I remote it, so I use the quick ID. Okay. So here, you have two type. Two type of tasks. So the sync task and the backup task. So as you can see here, this is a two-way, right? So uh, there's a uh, other option also once you choose this, okay? So for now, it's almost the same process how to set up. So I choose the backup task for this tutorial. So I'm click next. And then here, you can choose what file you want to backup from your computer to NASH. So for example, I choose links, for example, links, okay? Then backup destination. So this is your NAS folder. So now this is a folder under the test user. User test user username. So I click this. So you can create also the folder here where you want to save. Okay, so for now I just only a test folder. And then this this is the backup rules. So for example, this uh, as you can see, the file names or the file extension listed below will not be backed up. So if you want to back up, for example, the .psd, just remove the .psd. That's it. 
Okay. Click next. So there are three backup mode. The continuous backup, backup when files change, manual backup, backup when I click backup now, schedule backup. So click next. Click done. As you can see, the pop-up on the right side. So here, uh, I give you a, a little uh, a little tutorial here. Uh, here, in the global setting, if you if you want uh, if you want this is not appear every time it back up, just click the global settings notification. Just uncheck this. Okay, so just explore the other settings here. Okay, that's it. Thank you. So here you can also create a sync task or another backup task. Thank you.